So the barcode app, the whole idea is to uh, bring frontline warehouse transactions uh, to the front line. So with the uh, Sage 300 uh, standalone, uh, what happens usually is like those transactions, uh, warehouse related transactions, such as the goods are coming in, going out like shipment, they need to be entered in the back office doing data entry. So that would be a lot of like data entry that needs to be done uh, while uh, things are actually happening within the warehouse. So with the barcode app, what people in the warehouse can do is use the app to initiate inventory transactions, such as uh, goods receipts, delivery, or even like a stock tr transfers, for example. And then they can use the app, scan barcodes on the products while they are picking goods from the racks, and then post transactions directly into Sage 300 real time. So the beauty of that is uh, while I'm picking goods or receiving goods within the warehouse, once I do all the counts and stuff like that, the transactions are already posted into 300. And in the back office, of course, this time around, nothing else to do because all the transactions are already up to date and there's no data entry needed in the office. And it also keeps the stock uh, information uh, almost real time within the Sage 300 uh, system. So basically, we cover pretty much all the transactions in Sage 300 related to the warehouse. Purchase order, goods receipt and return within the order entry, shipment and return, uh, within IC itself, various uh, transactions like stock transfer, internal usage, a physical count, uh, and also this assembly, disassembly. So these are all the IC related uh, transactions. And then just now I mentioned we have a module which is for core manufacturing. So of course our barcode product supports our own manufacturing module as well. But with barcode, you can do raw material issuance and finished goods receipt uh, within barcode as well as a back flush and Kanban operations. And also we have another module called a shop floor control, and you can use barcode to enter uh, shop entries. Across all the transactions, we support a special type of barcode called GS1, and I'm going to explain GS1 a little bit uh, later on. And also we have full support of serialized infantry and lot tracking in Stage 300. So if the, your customer has items with lot numbers, serial numbers, they are also supported in barcode. And we also integrate and support with another module uh, called bin tracking, bin tracking from Orchid system. So if a customer is using bin tracking, this add-on uh, in 300, the Barco app also supports that and they can record uh, bin numbers for all those transactions. Then some inquiry functions. This has been around for quite a while already, if some of you know about the Barco product, but we just uh, recently released uh, Barco 2020 as well. And I want to highlight a few new things we added into Barco 2020. And these are all available now. First, uh, document printing. So we added document printing. Uh, if you have the system set up correctly, then uh, let's say after I posted a shipment transaction, for example, I can actually click print uh, uh, within the app and then I will be able to print the packing slip, the packing slip rather, on inside the warehouse, on the printer in the warehouse, and I can actually take that document and ship it together with the goods. And this applies to other transactions as well, such as uh, PO receipts, the IC transactions, etc. Then another enhancement is security control for every function. Um, in the past, if a particular user has rights to do a PO uh, receipt, for example, that user would be able to do a receipt for a single PO, receipt for multiple POs, and receipt without a PO. But some of our customers want more control over that. So right now, every kind of function is would be controlled by a security flag where you can turn on and turn off. So basically, a particular user, maybe he can only do a receipt on single PO, but he can never do receipt without any PO. And we also now support partial invoice return with lot zero items, which was not possible before. And we have thresholds for PO receipt and OE shipment. So you can define percentages uh, for over receiving and also over shipping uh, for these documents. And then we also added something called uh, snapshots. Uh, imagine you are, let's say, doing a PO receipt on a, a large order many 
lines. So in the middle, while you're doing it, you need to do something else. Now you can actually save the snapshot of all the items scanned so far, do other things uh, within barcode. And then later on, when you go back to that, that particular PO, for example, it can actually reload the snapshot and remember all the items you have already scanned. And then you can continue with that document. So this snapshot applies uh, PO receipt, OE shipment, and also uh, manufacturing raw material issuance only. Uh, we also have a whole new app. So if you are familiar or you have seen the older version of the Barco app, you would actually see the Barco 2020 has a whole new look with a more streamlined interface so that when you are going through the operations, creating the documents, the operation will be much faster. We also introduce something called a quick scan mode to replace the old enter scan mode if you're familiar with the old app. With the quick scan mode, once you are in that mode, you can, using the camera, keep scanning barcodes of the products and also uh, even barcodes of different products. It will just like update the item lines correctly while you're scanning different items. Some interesting features we added, also uh, scanning multiple barcodes with camera in quick scan mode. So if you have a few products in front of you, uh, if the camera can see multiple barcodes, you can actually scan them all instead of separately. And also you can now scan text with camera. So it would be handy in cases where, let's say, if you are receiving goods with uh, lot numbers and expiry dates printed on the package, but there's no barcode. In the past, you will need to actually type in the lot number and then type in the expiry date. Now you can scan them with the camera as well. In the past, we support uh, Windows CE only. And then more recently, we have an Android app. With the Baku 2020, we, have, we support all the platforms, Android, iOS, and we are keeping the Windows CE uh, app as well, but we are not going to update that anymore. So going forward, it will be uh, all the new features added will be for Android, iOS, and we also have version for Windows desktop for Windows 10 as well. And it's uh, delivered as a Microsoft app. So it will be on the Microsoft App Store. And of course, in the middle, you can see there's a handheld device and usually what clients would use in a real warehouse because like people might drop the devices on the concrete floor, then they would usually use this kind of more rugged hardware handhelds. And these sort of handhelds usually have a built-in laser scanner. And so the scanning of the barcodes would be much faster than camera on the phone. But if it's like a light usage, or maybe if it, the warehouse is actually just a room in uh, an office, your customers can also use an Android or iOS phone to achieve the same thing. Before I move on to demo, just one more thing I just want to remind, we also support something called GS1 barcodes. And this is a kind of barcode which is a bit special because uh, within a single barcode, there are multiple information encoded in it. It can include the product number, the lot number, the serial number, expiry date, and quantity, all of them within a single barcode. So we also support this kind of barcode. So if you scan one of these barcodes, all the information will be captured within the app. Let me move on and show you quickly the barcode app. This is the uh, main interface of the uh, barcode app. You can see it got functions for PO receipt, OE shipment, returns for both PO and OE, and some basic IC functions. So this time, let's say I'm doing shipment inside the warehouse. So I click on OE shipment and I'm shipping to this particular customer. These are all the open orders, uh, Mr. Ronald Black, and I'm delivering this order 76 this time. This is the snapshot feature because I have scanned something in this particular uh, order before. It's just asking me if I want to restore the snapshot. And right now I, I can start from scratch. So I would just click no. And these are all the items um, in the order. So what I can do is I can pull up the camera and scan barcodes. And then here, this is the uh, first barcode I scan is the fluorescent desk lamp. Let's say the total I'm shipping right now is two. And then I can also scan. 
another barcode. And the total, let's say this one is three. Okay, so it would be the same for scanning other products. So let's say I'm done with uh, scanning all the items. I just click the add, confirm, and then the uh, shipment. It's already posted in J300. You can see the shipment uh, 73 has been created in the system. And it also asks if I want to print this document. And right now I do not have the printer, the office printer with me. So uh, I cannot print out the document, but if it's set up correctly, then I can click yes. And I can print out the document to the printer inside the warehouse. So I click no. So I'm not going to show you all the other transactions because basically they will work very similarly. Uh, let's say for IC receipts, IC or even stock transfer, I just initiate a particular uh, transaction and then keep scanning all the items. Once I'm done, post, the document goes into 300. This is the basic operations of POOE. Uh, you can see there's another tab with the IC transactions and we support our own manufacturing module with the raw material issuance return and also finished goods receipt and return shop floor and also inquiry let me go back to PO receipt and show you a few interesting things first if I go into PO receipt let's say I'm receiving from this particular vendor and I'm receiving for this PO this snapshot again Okay, these are the things inside uh, this particular PO. If I need to scan a GS1 barcode, let me pull up the camera and show you the GS1 barcode. Here's an example of a GS1 barcode. Uh, it's a 2D barcode with multiple things in it, a product code, batch number, or a lot number, uh, expiry date, and also the quantity. So let me show you what happens if I scan this. So you see, the system does not even bother to ask me for the quantity because it already picks up all the information from that particular barcode. If I go into this line, it knows that I just scanned this calculator item. It knows that the total scan is already 10. If I go into the lot serial detail, you can see it already picked up this particular lot number with a quantity of 10 and also expiry date of uh, 2022, December 31st. So basically, like these kind of barcode, if your customers are receiving goods with this kind of barcodes, it, it greatly improves efficiency because they can do a lot less scans and the system would be able to pick up all these information uh, right away. Another thing I want to show you is, let's say I'm on this particular item and uh, let's say I want to receive one more but this time round, let me show you what's in front of me. I pull up the camera again. What's in front of me is just a big label stuck on product I'm receiving with the batch number or lot number and expiry date in words. There's no barcode for me to scan. But with this new version, I can also scan them. So if I go back to barcode app in the lot number field, there's also a camera. If I click on the camera, I can actually click on it. And of course, the app is not so smart that I know exactly which tax is the uh, lot number. So if I see multiple things, the user would need to confirm. So this is actually the lot number. Click OK. And then the expiry date as well. I can pick up the expiry date. And then the app knows to ignore anything that does not look like a date. So here it picks up the correct date. I just confirm OK. And I put in a quantity of one. And then you can see, yeah, even without barcodes, I can also scan in all these information. And I can tell you that this also works with uh, document numbers as well. So if I have purchase order or an OE order in front of me uh, with the document number, I can also scan in that particular uh, PO number I'm receiving. The last thing I want to show you would be if I'm doing a receipt, it's easier to do it receipt without PO. So just now I mentioned the quick scan mode and also scanning multiple barcodes. So if I turn on quick scan and then pull up the camera, there are two boxes in front of me. The app sees two barcodes. I can say scan all of them, capture. If you go back, you can see I can 
easily scan multiple barcodes within one scan and actually picks up the different item numbers. So that a few things that we added in this barcode 2020 release.